Hello everyone, welcome to Little Things. This is a reminder that you're such an amazing person and you'll succeed in everything you put your heart into. So today we're going to be making this little headphone sprout and this is probably my favorite thing to make because this is such a quick and easy make, even for absolute beginners. And it adds such a cute touch to your headphone and not only can you use it for your headphone but also your earphones and as a back charm as well. And you have zero experience in crocheting, don't worry, I got your back because this video is for absolutely beginner and I'll be going through the steps really slowly so you guys can follow along. By the way, if you want me to shout out your crochet account at the end of my YouTube video, share my YouTube video on your story and add link and tag me and you'll have a chance of getting featured. Also, this video is a complimentary tutorial for my free written pattern on my Instagram page at lilthings.crochet. And pause right now and head to my Instagram page and get that free pattern out with you because I'll be referencing all of it today. Without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. I'm using a 5-ply milk cotton yarn with the color green and a 3mm hook, scissors, and darning needle. According to the pattern, we gotta chain 10. So to chain, we gotta do a slip knot first. And to do a slip knot, we're gonna take the tail of the yarn using our right hand, and for our left hand, we're gonna use our index finger and middle finger and wrap our fingers around the yarn like this, where you have a loop on your left hand and the tail on your right hand. And then we're gonna grab the tail from the right hand through the loop on our left hand. And then you just pull it through and then really tighten it on both sides so the knot is really tight and you should have something that looks like this and we can adjust the size of the loop by pulling the tail and we want the loop of our slip knot to be not too loose and not too tight so that your hook can just move freely so as you can see this is too loose so we just got to tighten it and just like this and the way we're holding the yarn it's kind of hard to explain so you just gotta look at my finger placements i guess so basically i'm just grabbing the working yarn with my ring finger and pinky and then I just go around the index finger and then hold your piece with your middle finger and thumb. So basically the working yarn is coming from the index finger. And now let's start chaining. So we got a chain 10. To chain, we just need to yarn over and then pull it through the loop on your hook. And as you can see, there will be a little V and that V is a chain. And to do the second one, we yarn over and then we pull it through the loop on our hook. And there you go, that's your second chain. And then we just gotta repeat this till we reach 10. So for our third one, we yarn over and pull it through again. And we just have seven more to go. And again, for our fourth one, same thing, yarn over and pull it through the loop on your hook. And again, yarn over, pull it through the loop on your hook and just five more times and you will be done. So I have just completed my 10 chains and now let's move on to the actual stitches. So according to the pattern, we are going to do a slip stitch on the second chain from hook. So second chain from hook means the second V from hook. As you can see, this is the second V that I'm pointing at and we're just gonna insert a hook into that. 
And to do a slip stitch, we just yarn over the working yarn. So just pull up a loop, and then with the yarn that we just pull up, we're just gonna pull it through the loop on our hook as well. So basically, you yarn over and pull it through all the loops on your hook. And then for the next one, which is the next V, we're gonna do a single crochet. And we're just gonna insert our hook into that V. You're supposed to yarn over after that, but I accidentally yarn under. But don't worry, it's just this stitch that I accidentally yarn under. Other stitches are fine. But to be honest, it doesn't really make a big difference. Yeah, I just want to clarify if there's any one of you that's confused. And after yarning over, we're just going to pull up a loop. And now we got two loops on our hook, as you can see. And then to finish off a single crochet, we just got to yarn over again. And then pull it through both loops on your hook. And ta-da, that's your first single crochet. After that, it's followed by a half double crochet. So to do a half double crochet, we're gonna yarn over before inserting our hook. So we yarn over first, and then insert into the next V right next to the stitch that we made, so the followed V. So you're just gonna insert it, and then after that, you're gonna yarn over the working yarn, and then you're gonna pull up a loop, and then now you got three loops on our hook. So it's one more loop more than single crochet. So we're just gonna yarn over again and then pull through all three loops on our hook. And that's our half double crochet. And then it's followed by a double crochet. So to do a double crochet, same as half double crochet, we are going to yarn over first before inserting the hook. So you yarn over, and then you insert your hook into the next chain, which is the next V. So like this, and then yarn over again, and then pull up a loop. And then now, again, you got three loops on our hook, but this time, we're gonna yarn over, and then we're just gonna pull it through the first two loops on our hook. just like this and then we're left with two loops on our hook so we just got our yarn over again and then pull it through the rest too and tara that's your double crochet and then as you can see it's ascending in height because we're trying to create the width of the leaf and then each stitch that we're doing we're just gonna make it a bit taller and taller and now we're just doing our last new stitch, which is the tallest, called treble crochet. So to do a treble crochet, we're going to yarn over twice before inserting our hook. So as you can see, before inserting our hook, we have already three loops on our hook. And then we're going to insert our hook into the next chain, just like normal. And then yarn over and pull up a loop. And now we got four loops on our hook. And then we're gonna yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And then we're gonna yarn over again, and then pull through the first two loops again. Just like this. And then the last one, we are left with two loops now, so just yarn over and pull through the rest of the two. And the pattern calls for a treble crochet increase, which is two treble crochet in one stitch. So we're just gonna do another triple crochet in the same exact place we did just now. So to do a triple crochet, we yarn over twice before inserting a hook, and then going into the same chain that we just did before. And then we just go in there and then grab the yarn and pull up a loop. So now we have four loops on our hook, like this, and then we're just gonna yarn over again, and then pull through the first two loops, and then we're left with three loops now, and we're gonna yarn over again, pull through the first two, 
and then lastly we're gonna pull through the last two so yarn over and then pull through the rest so right now you should have something that looks like this it's kind of like a quarter of our first leaf and then what we're gonna do is kind of a reverse of what we did before and it's gonna go in descending order in height so I'll double crochet so we yarn over and then insert our hook and then we yarn over again and then we pull up a loop now we have three loops on our hook we yarn over again pull through the first two loops and then we're left with two loops now so we're gonna yarn over again and then pull through the rest so as you can see double crochet is slightly a little bit shorter than a triple crochet and then we're gonna do a half double crochet so again yarn over and then insert a hook into the next chain and then yarn over and pull up a loop now we got three loops in our hook and we yarn over again and pull through all three loops on our hook after that we're gonna do a single crochet and for a single crochet there is no yarning over before inserting a hook so just stick your hook right into the chain and then we're gonna yarn over and then we're gonna pull up a loop so now we got two loops on our hook and then we're gonna yarn over again and pull through the two loops on our hook and now we have the last chain right here and this is a slip stitch so just insert your hook and yarn over pull up a loop and with the loop that we just pulled up we just pull it through the loop on our hook as well and then you just tighten it and then you're done with the half of the first leaf and then after that we're gonna turn our work vertically so now we'll be working from the base so you'll find there's a yarn tail sticking out and as we're going through the stitches later be sure to go over this tail as well so it's hidden so we don't have to weave in later so we're just repeating the same steps so we're just going to start with a slip stitch insert your hook into the very first stitch and to do a slip stitch you yarn over and then pull up a loop and then with the same exact loop we're going to also pull it through the loop on your hook just like that and then now we're going to go into the second stitch we're gonna do a single crochet so we insert our hook and then yarn over pull up a loop and now you have two loops on your hook at the same time be mindful that the tail is inside the single crochet so it's hidden and after that um, continue with the single crochet so yarn over and then pull through the two loops on your hook and that's a single crochet and then next up is a half double crochet so yarn over and then insert a hook into the next stitch if your yarn tension is a bit tight like me um, it might be a little hard to see where the next stitch is so really have to be careful and we just got to continue with the half double crochet so you yarn over pull up a loop and then now you have three loops on your hook and you yarn over again and then pull through all three loops on your hook And just like that it's literally the same thing as we did just now and it will be the same for the next leaf as well so we have double crochet next so we yarn over before inserting our hook so we yarn over it already and then we're just gonna insert our hook into the next stitch here and then we're gonna yarn over and then we're gonna pull up a loop now we have three loops on our hook and then we're gonna yarn over again and then we're gonna pull through the first two loops on our hook and now left with two loops and then we're just gonna yarn over again and then pull it through the rest and that's our double crochet and then in the middle there will be a triple crochet increase and the next stitch here 
So if you remember travel crochet, we have to yarn over it twice before inserting our hook. So here is the first time and then the second time. So before inserting our hook, we already have three loops on our hook. And now let's insert our hook into the next stitch. And then after that, we yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we got four loops on our hook. And then we're gonna yarn over and then pull through the first two loops on our hook. And then now we're left with three loops on our hook. And then we're just gonna yarn over and then pull through the first two loops. And then now left with two loops. And we're just gonna yarn over and then pull through the rest of the two loops. And then that's our first treble crochet in this stitch. And we need to do an increase, which is two treble crochet in one stitch. So now we're making the second one. So yarn over it twice before inserting our hook. And insert your hook into the exact same stitch that we just did. And then we yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we got four loops on our hook. And then we're just gonna yarn over again and then pull through the first two and then treat it as a double crochet. So we have three loops on our hook. So you just yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And after that, you're left with two. So you just yarn over again and then pull through the rest of the two. And that's it, that's your increase. And then after that, we're gonna reverse. If you remember, we're gonna do a double crochet now so for double crochet we just need to yarn over once and then insert your hook into the next stitch and yarn over again and then pull up a loop now you've got three loops on your hook and then you're gonna yarn over again and then pull it through the first two loops and then yarn over again and pull through the last two and as you can see it's almost completed also, I just want to show you how I hit the tail. And as you can see, the tail is perfectly hidden inside the stitches, so you don't have to waste time to weave in. So it's really important for you to just go through the tail as you're going through the stitches. And then back to the leaf, and we're gonna do a half double crochet. So we yarn over first, and then insert our hook, and then we're gonna yarn over again. And then pull up a loop now we have three loops on our hook and we're just gonna yarn over it and pull through all of it together just like this and then we have our single crochet next up so for single crochet we don't have to yarn over before inserting our hook so we just straight up just insert our hook and yarn over and pull up a loop and you'll have two loops on your hook and then yarn over, pull through the two loops. And then lastly, we'll have a slip stitch. So for slip stitch, we're just gonna insert our hook into the very last stitch right here. We're just gonna stick our hook into that. And then we're gonna yarn over and then pull up a loop and then use that loop to pull through the loop on our hook as well. So just like this, and you have your first leaf. Yay! So let's move on to the second leaf. And for the second leaf, it's literally the same thing as the first leaf. So I won't be having such a detailed explanation this time because you can always rewatch the first leaf tutorial. So instead, in this second leaf, I'll just briefly talk about the stitches that you have to do for each round. So to start off a leaf, you need to chain 10. And you'll have something that looks like this, and this is the base of what we're going to be working on. And you want to go across the row by doing a slip stitch in the second chain from hook, which is the second V from hook. And then it's followed by a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and a treble crochet increase, which means two treble crochet in the same exact chain. 
and then a double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, and lastly a slip stitch. And then after that, I'm gonna turn my work and then start working on the bottom half of the leaf and doing the exact same stitches just like how we did before. So start with a slip stitch and a single crochet followed by a half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet increase, double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, slip stitch. So after finishing the second leaf, we're gonna fasten off, which means you're gonna pull a really big loop and then cut the yarn. So you'll leave a very long tail for us to weave in later. So for the tail that's sticking out from the middle of the leaf, you can just cut it because that's the tail that we've already hidden when we're doing the stitches across. And for the other tail, we need to thread it through the darning needle and actually need to weave in. So this is the right side and when I turn it, it is the wrong side. And how can you tell? It's basically the wrong side is really bumpy, whereas the right side is a lot nicer looking and smoother. And now I'm just sticking my needle into any loops on the wrong side and be mindful that your needle is not sticking through the loops from the right side and I'm just checking if I got it on the right side but if you don't then you're good but if you do then you have to do it again and only stick a hook into the loops on the wrong side and the purpose of this is to just hide the tail and then after threading it through the loops from the back I'm just gonna go back into the last loop and then I'm just gonna tie a knot there just to secure it and then I like to just go back into the loop that I went through before just to be more secure about it and then after that, I'm just going to cut the yarn. But you can totally have a different way of weaving in. This is just um, what I prefer. And honestly, any way that you can hide the yarn tail would work perfectly fine. And now let's move on to the straps. So the straps is basically all chained, so that means we have to start with the slip knot. So per usual, there will be a loop on your left hand and then you're just going to pull the tail through the loop and then you're just going to tighten it and that's your slip knot. And to make the loop smaller, you just got to pull the tail and then we're going to grab the leaves and then we're going to grab our hook as well and stick our hook into literally any loop that you can get your hook into in between two leaves. So I got myself into this one little loop and then I'm going to grab my slip knot and then stick my hook into the slip knot and start chaining. So to chain we yarn over and then pull through the loop on your hook and that V right there counts as one chain. And then we just got to repeat the steps. And according to the pattern, we need to chain in between 40 to 60, but it really, really depends on your yarn tension and also the size of your headphone band. So I just finished chaining and I'm just gonna grab the end and put it in between the leaves like this and then wrap around the headphone band and see if that's my desired length. I ended up having to frog, which means I have to like carefully pull out the chains and then I just have to measure it again. I ended up doing this back and forth. Um, I also added new chains and um, frogged some chains. I think I did 42, but really everyone varies. So you just really have to measure your own headphone band and see if that works for you. After getting your desired length, you're just gonna grab your hook and do a slip stitch into the very first loop that you started your chain 
and you're just gonna do a slip stitch there and so this whole chain is gonna be a giant loop after that you're gonna pull a really big loop and then cut it so you'll have a long tail for us to weave in also before um, weaving in I like to just go back into the last chain and then just do a knot Obviously, you can skip this step as well. I just want to be extra secure about it. And then now let's start weaving in. So, I'm going through all the back loops on the wrong side. And after going back into the loops, I'm just going to tie a knot. And then go back into all the loops that I went through before. And then cut the yarn. And I'm just doing the same thing for the other tail. And ta-da! That's your little sprout! And it's honestly so cute. So now I usually use it for my headphone. To put it on your headphone, you just got to wrap it around your headphone band. Where the end of the strap touches the middle of the sprout. And then kind of treat it as a slip knot. So you just want all the leaves to go through the hole of the strap. And you're finally done. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed making this. I personally really did because it's such a quick and easy project. So this week's shout out goes to at one underscore crochets on Instagram and she's honestly such an amazing crocheter. Look at the lily of the valley she made, it's so adorable. And my favorite one is probably the little penguin, it's just so chubby and cute. And this cute little carrot boy. So yeah, be sure to check out her Instagram. Next week's video is going to be a camera pouch tutorial and be sure to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out. And the following week will be a crochet with me slash spend a day with me. So it's kind of like a vlog and it's more chill and personal. So yeah, I hope you guys will like it. You know like Pinocchio when you lie, it's like longer? Maybe that's what I need to do to grow this thing out. You get it? <laughs>If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more of these, be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. Also feel free to send me your sprout, I'd love to see you guys' work, they're honestly so good. That's it for today's video, comment a sprout emoji if you made it this far so I know you're a real one. I love you and bye!